Hello guys, uh, previously we have discussed the temporary firefighting equipment on site and now we will discuss the suspended access cradles and platforms. So let's begin. Minimum requirements More one rules, rules uh, legal or contractual requirements shall always take precedence, higher standards shall be adopted wherever practicable. Okay. Before choosing a suspended access cradle or platform for any activity, you must be certain that it is suitable for its intended purpose. Okay? Before using a suspended access cradle and platform, you must make sure that general installations, the safe working load must be clearly marked on the cradle and must not be exceeded. Safe working load we can obtain from the uh, third-party inspector after the they give us certificate third-party certificate so always follow on that safe working load and don't exceed on that safe working load and you must uh, develop one signboard that you can uh, write the safe working load on the cradle itself so that it, those people who are using the cradle they know that the second load is example at 300 kilograms only so they will not exceed on the 300 kilograms so that weight uh, is uh, the, the weight of the persons using the cradle plus all the materials that they will carry during that activity so the total of that uh, weight is the safe working load that the third party inspector will mark on the third party certificate. It has been erected and installed by competent persons following the manufacturer's instructions. Competent persons means he is uh, uh, having a good experience on the installation of the cradle or pla suspended platforms not only uh, one day, not only one day, it should be uh, at least uh, he know about the safe installation of these uh, cradles. So he has a good experience and also technical knowledge about the installations of the cradles and of course the competent supervisions. An independent lifeline roof wire and rope grabbing device must be installed and the safe working load must not be exceeded so the lifeline also there is a safe working load so should not be exceeded so like for example you have one lifeline and the safe working load is only 100 kilograms so you cannot use one lifeline for two persons because we will assume that one person is 100 kilograms so well, that is the assumptions to make it uh, safe so in every person who are in the uh, cradle they should have individual independent lifelines and that uh, lifelines they are using the safety harness anchored on that lifeline with rope grabber device so this rope grabbing device is automatic auto lock when the persons fall from height so that's it for the lifelines it has been inspected and certified by third party at least once every six months also see users requirement okay so as per the minimum uh, requirements all all uh, uh, suspended platforms carrying people it should be minimum of at least every six months to be third party inspected and certified so that is the minimum but you should also uh, inspect it every week the cradle in your location as internal inspection that is the minimum as well
and then the operator also must conduct daily inspection before use of each cradle. All of that should be recorded. Daily free use requirements. All safety devices are operating correctly. Make sure that all the all safety devices like uh, roof grabbing uh, and uh, lifelines or the operator's uh, switch on the cradle are operating correctly. So they can uh, use trial trials in every use. So any defects uh, on the on the cradle, so the use of the cradle should be terminated immediately. All control buttons are operating correctly. So there is a button on that uh, cradle. There are no visible signs of defect or of damage to the cradle and corresponding supports, trucks, and runways. Okay. The roofs are free from damage and are correctly webbed from the drum and pulleys. Floors and guardrails are rigid and free from defects. The floors of the guardrails, the, fro the, uh, the floors of the uh, platforms. The equipment can only be used when the above items has been checked. So all of these should be checked every day by the supervisor or the operator before he allowed to, uh, to use the cradle on a daily basis. So this check, checklist, they should, uh, you, you can develop checklist so that he will not forget anything on these uh, uh, requirements. When using suspended cradles or access cradles or platform, you must ensure that user requirements, the equipment shall only be altered or dismantled by competent persons. Every time the equipment is altered, dismantled, relocated, it must be third party certified. So example, you use now and then next day you transfer it, you know, then you need to invite the third party again to inspect and certify your cradle. So not every every person, as I discussed uh, previous, uh, previously, not every person are authorized to uh, alter or dismantle the cradle. So it should only be done by the competent persons if necessary. The safe working load is not exceeded. So always observe the safe working load. As I mentioned, tools and equipments are secured appropriately. Tool lanyards must be utilized. Okay. So all the tools and equipment that the user of the cradle are uh, should be uh, provided by the tool lanyards. This is to prevent the accidental fall of the tools below from the cradle. The occupants of the building are aware that they should not be opening windows whilst the cradle is in use and no other works must be carry out, carried out above the cradle. So when that's why we have a permit system when you are using the cradle so that on that permit you are able to communicate with the building occupants or any workers on the buildings above and below that no other works to be carried out carried out while you are using the uh, cradle all persons operating the cradle must be trained in the use of emergency lowering device okay there is a lowering device on the cradles that even there is no power it, he can bring down the, the cradles or suspended platforms safely on the ground but uh, the operators should know uh, how to use it and uh, I would suggest also to conduct uh, a drill so that he will be familiar on the use of that emergency lowering device if malfunction occur work is stopped immediately and the malfunctions reported so when you see the cradle, there is some small malfunctions than usual, then the operator or the supervisor 
give order to stop the work immediately and, and report to the concerned uh, department for uh, proper action, okay? For appropriate action to co coordinate with the manufacturer or the installer of that cradle so that they can immediately rectify that uh, uh, malfunctions to avoid accidents in the future. Lifelines have a minimum breaking strength of 5,000 to 11,000 pounds as per OSHA, capacity of 310 pounds and C and 4,000 pounds OSHA. All lifelines should meet OSHA regulation 29 CFR. This is some example for the lifelines. An appropriate rescue from heights plan must be in place when weather ex uh, condition deteriorate, wind, rains, etc. or typhoon, work is stopped immediately. Okay. Access to the area below where cradles are working must be properly barricaded and sign posted to prevent entry of unauthorized personnel below the working area including the top level so that nobody will work on the top levels and also on the down level so it is always uh, better to provide the watchman on the top levels and also the below levels even you have a barricades and sign to prevent entry for any unauthorized person all persons in the cradle must wear harness with a lanyard attached to the independent safety lifelines at all times okay because we don't know when the uh, uh, ladder will fail you know, remember that there is no 100 percent equipment in the world that uh, there is still 0 0.001 that this equipment will fail all any time so lifelines is very important and make sure that the persons while using the cradle is using it all the times. All electrical distribution board panel must be wired correctly with residual current device installed and must have lockable uh, cover. So make sure that all the distribution board is uh, correctly wired because we cannot accept the, any uh, electrocution on the cradle remember he is in the suspended area on the working at height and then he will get electrocution then it's very very uh, critical or dangerous for the user of the cradle so make sure that all distribution boards panel is uh, installed by the competent electrician so that we can ensure that Nothing, uh, mis uh, mistake, no mistake will happen about uh, electrical uh, system of the uh, cradle. If a counterweight style cradle support arms are being utilized, the counterweight plates must be secured tied with wire to ensure they cannot be removed by anyone. The counterweights must be secured by installing either jack props between the prop between the top of the counterweights and soffit or bolting tie supports through the counterweights base frames i will show you some drawing what is this counterweights that i'm talking about i-beam type cradle support arms must be bolted to the floor slab with su supplied supplier approved passing system all bolts must be chemi chemically anchored and must be checked by third party as well so that we are sure that these bolts can carry all the load that we can put on the cradles before we use that cradle cradles can only be entered exited from the ground floor or purpose built landing platform so no one uh, anybody uh, will hang the, clad, uh, the cradles or suspended uh, platforms and he will uh, exit or enter on the windows, on the floors, except from the ground floor or on the landing platforms of the cradle. Climbing outside the cradle is strictly prohibited, it's not allowed. 
all landing wheels must be attack, attached and intact so the wheels of the cradles must be attached and always in good operation condition for easily movement of the, uh, the cradles while on the landing platforms or on the floor on the ground floor all cradles are to be fitted with a fit for purpose fire extinguishers so we don't know when the fire will happen so we should also install fire extinguishers on the cradle no storage of flammable materials on the cradle high level of housekeeping must be maintained at all times all materials equipment tools rubbishes etc to be removed at the end of the shift okay so all of these no accumulation should be a very good housekeeping all the time should be maintained so that we can prevent the falling objects from the ladder uh clad cradle sorry cradle to be shut down and lock out at the end of shift or at any time that cradle is not in use break times like for example collecting materials and equipment from the stores so all the cradle should be shut down don't leave it uh, operation in a running uh, machine or running condition should be shut down and remove the key each cradle to be numbered and relevant certification and operating instructions for the cradle to be posted on the cradle okay example you have a number of cradles on site let's say you have 10 uh, cradles each cradle there is each capacity each uh, certification we cannot accept one certification for all the cradles so every cradle must have individual certification and they have manual for uh, uh, operating manuals and it should be there on the cradle example of the cradles uh, as I show you the, uh, this cradle is supported by uh, counterweights so you can see the these pictures on the left top corner the cradle supported by counterweights this counterweight should be secured so that no one can remove it accidentally or intentionally okay and all of this should be inspected before allowing anyone to use the cradle so that's why this is the counterweight suspended on the top of the buildings before anyone to start the cradle they should inspect all of these parts any movement on the wire roof clips should be reported because any movement that means there is something happening when uh, the cradle is in use so if you found any movement so immediately report to your supervisor and don't use it in, uh, until it is re rectified and uh, on the lower left you can see this cradle this is supported by uh, a i-beam secured on the floor by uh, chemical bolts okay so this one before you will start chemical bolt should be inspected or pull out test so that you can ensure that the uh, capacity of the bolts and the chemicals in, uh, and also the the anchoring to the concrete floor is uh, enough to carry the the like, suspended cradles okay so the design you should check the design as as before you allow to to use the cradle so there is a design requirements for, for from any uh, regulations of your uh, locality what is the minimum requirements for the design requirements so like for example this cradle uh, can sustain a six times of maximum intended load okay so that is one example and on the right grab this is the wire roof grab that uh, people use on the on the uh, 
lifelines, independent lifelines. As you can see in the fissures, two lifelines are there independently secured from the top of the buildings and they are wearing the uh, wire, wire roof grab. Okay guys, uh, this is uh, our uh, end of the lecture for the suspended uh, cradle and uh, um, platform. Next video we will discuss the abrasive wheel tools including the safety, cutting and angle grinding. Okay, thank you.